Hey there. One of the passions my wife and I have together are a love for electric powered vehicles or alternative forms of transportation or a way to get that final mile without uh, traffic congestion. So we engage in a lot of projects and try a lot of things out. And one of the things you see, let's see right behind me there, that is a solar powered charger and it is charging our latest project, an electric powered trike. In this video, I'll show you a little bit about the electric trike, how we built it, and what we expect it to do. This is the EV trike project in its final form, and I'm just going to go over the highlights real quick with you. We did start out with a Sunbike Atlas cargo trike. What it does is it has the low step over height for easy access. You still have your normal trike uprighting position. Also important that it has front and rear brakes. Some trikes only have one brake. This one has two. That's nice. It also has a or has a nice wide cargo area in the back and is rated for up to 500 pounds. It makes a good beginning to, to a EV trike project. To that, I added a front hub drive 1000 watt motor, which you see here. When you get the kits, you can get front kits or back kits or mid kits. The very easiest to add is the front kit. With a front kit, the biggest problem you have is running the wires all the way from the front to the back of the trike. and figuring out how you're gonna store your electronics. And when storing electronics, that was one of the challenges with this. Where do you put them on a trike? There's not a real great down tube. It increases your step over height. But what the cargo trike allowed me to do is put it on the cargo plate. And I'll, I'll show you that here. So what we did, we've run all the wires from the front. Hopefully you can see that all the way from the front down into the rear. And then we put it in this waterproof box. So all the controller and electronics are in the waterproof box and it's neatly secured here with bolting. So the kind of prevents some anti theft. And this is the original deck. And on the back, this is where we've mounted the battery. It's secured and lockable. And again, it puts a nice little tight package there. And if you look back, it's all nicely secured. The fabricated box covers the controller box and battery hiding the valuable electronic components from view while providing protections from sun and rain. The lower deck allows for stashing of smaller items like a rain poncho, picnic deck, or books from a library run underneath the upper deck. While on top, no cargo space is lost to housing electronics, it's a heavy duty deck capable of carrying laundry baskets, coolers, or any heavy item. I drilled holes in the decking to allow for the easy attachment of a standard trike basket or waterproof box. The trike's modular cargo space can be configured into daycare mode. The addition of a child bike seat rated to 48 pounds allows for our toddler to be ferried to his daycare and back. Even in this mode, there's still room for cargo either on the lower deck or a watertight box fastened to the upper deck cargo platform. For basic safety and conformance with local laws, a bright front light and 360 degree viewable tail light were added to the build. The lighting system works off the same 48 volt battery powering the motor. Easy operation means not having multiple batteries to manage. At the end of the day, one battery to plug in to recharge. It's easy, it's simple, it works. Other safety gear includes a rear view mirror attached to the handlebars and a bicycle bell to ring when overtaking others. Finishing off the cockpit is a waterproof handlebar bag for housing an iPhone, which will function as the navigation system, entertainment center, or leverage any other app needed while on the go. And yes, the trike battery has a wired USB charging port for a smartphone or other accessory. It can 100% be about function. The original mountain bike style tires are changed out for old school white walls and a more suitable road oriented tread. Sid picked out a comfortable retro style brown seat, topping the accoutrements off with a woven front basket. The trike travels along quite quickly, clocking a top speed of 20 miles per hour on a flat. I tell you that feels very quick on a trike. It's quick enough. You want to slow and turn with care or lean hard to avoid two wheel turns. Hills are not a problem as the motor has enough oomph to pull the heavy three wheeler up and over. The quick torque of the electric wheel has led to some surprise looks from motors, motorists while powering through intersections at stoplights. Testing over the past few days has our little guy asking to ride in his seat of the trike all the time. It's a definite treat for him. Charging is super simple, involving plugging the bike into a standard outlet overnight. The EV trike project successfully checks all the boxes of a daily driver and is a blast to ride.